Hello and welcome to my Physics Lab 1 report. So in this lab we're going to have an introduction, some fundamental principles and models, some experimental observations, computer simulation, results analysis, and some discussion. Let's get into it. So the purpose of this lab is to examine the interactions between two charged pieces of tape to better understand how electric forces work. Our goals are to determine the charge of the tape and determine the ratio of electrons to the total atoms, uh, the electrons lost to the total atoms. And some preview of our findings here is that the tape charge was 1.15 times 10 to the negative 8th coulombs, and the ratio of electrons to total atoms was about 1.86 times 10 to the negative 7th. Some fundamental principles and models that are important to understand uh, is first the momentum principle, which is the net force is equal to the change in momentum over change in time. And then we have the force of gravity, which is um, the mass of your object times the gravitational constant near our surface. Then we have the electric force here, so we have K, that's Coulomb's constant. Uh, Q1 and Q2 will be your two charges. Um, you're dividing that by the magnitude of R, which is the distance between your charges squared, and then R hat would be from your source to your observation. Uh, and it's important to note here that if you do the magnitude of the electric force, then um, you get rid of the R hat and you just take the magnitude of your charges. So some key assumptions for this are that we assumed the tape was to act as a point charge. That means all of the charge was directly in the center of the tape as a point. Uh, air resistance was also ignored, uh, basically saying we assume the only two forces acting on the tape are gravity and the electric force, and we assume that the charges of the tapes were equal. This allows us to actually solve for the charge from the force of gravity. So essentially how this experiment worked, we laid some tape on the table, peeled it off, that creates a U-tape, it's charged. We created two tapes that were charged in the same way, suspended one, brought the other one underneath, and it kind of makes the top one float. So some observations here. If we put two U-tapes next to each other, they repel. Hand in a U-tape, attract. Neutral object and U-tape would attract. Hanging U-tape and handheld U-tape would repel. A pen and U-tape would attract. Well, the pen was negatively charged uh, by being rubbed in hair. Now this means if they attract and the pen's negative, it means the U-tape must be positive because opposite charges attract. And then below here we have a little bit of data. Those were our measurements that go into our code, which we'll see later. So getting into the code here, uh, we have our initial values. So UFPES, that is the uh, Coulomb constant. Uh, this charge here, um, I'll turn the laser on. This charge here and this charge here are what we got uh, doing hand calculations, but uh, that will be confirmed in the code later. That wasn't actually used in the code. So then we have the tape mass, tape length, uh, tape width. We have the gravitational constant, atom area, and electron charge. And then you'll see here the uh, total charge magnitude of each particle was 1.15 times 10 to the negative 8th, which is pretty similar to what we got here. Is probably just some uh, rounding differences. So we have our first function here. This function is going to calculate using the gravitational force equation, the force of gravity on the tape. And then we can use that force of gravity on the tape in our next function to determine the charge. And so we have our R calculations here for the R vector, which go again from the source to, so it'll go from the uh, source of the charge on the upper atom, which would be here's the source, straight up to the affected area. And then uh, due to Newton's second law, we know that our top tape is not moving, there's no change in momentum, which means the net force is zero, which means the two forces, gravity and electric, must add up to zero, which means that the electric force is equal to the negative of the gravitational force here. Um, which, that means that we're able to rearrange the uh, electric force equation to solve for the charge, and then everything else down here is just um, printing and creating the arrows. And then our final function here is um, essentially calculating that ratio. So E def is the amount of electrons lost. That's the total charge divided by the electron charge. Uh, we find the total amount of atoms by taking the total area divided by the area of an atom. And then we take the ratio of the electrons lost to the total amount of atoms. And that's how we got our value for that. Here's the ratio right over here, 1.86 times 10 to the negative seventh. So some possible sources of error in this lab are improper measuring of the tape with the ruler, improper camera angle, which would give a distorted view, improper measuring of separation distances, the held tape not being perfectly parallel to the suspended tape, and the suspended tape and the held tape being different lengths, which would lead to different uh, overall charges. So getting into the additional questions here, uh, basically what would happen if electrons were positive and protons were negative? Well, if these charges change, then the direction of the electric fields would change. However, this would not change our observations. The U-tapes would become negatively charged, but still repel each other because they're like charges. The pen would then become positively charged, but would still remain attracted to the tapes because opposite charges attract. The magnitude of the E-fields, forces, and elsewise would all remain the same. And why is it important to handle the charged tapes as little as possible? Well, when you handle the charged tape, uh, charge can transfer between your hand and the tape. In this case, electrons would go from your hand to the tape. Well, this is going to basically decrease that positive charge on the tape, which is going to make them not interact. They're going to become a neutral object, and that would ruin the experiment. Thank you very much for watching.